dinner and this is coyote. Ow, ow, ow. And there's a story about coyote. It's a love story. And a friend of mine, Marty Crepe de Montagna, wrote it. She's Prairie Band Potawatomi from Kansas. And the illustrator is also Prairie Band Potawatomi and Creek. So, Coyote in love with the star. Old Man Coyote was coming along, they say, following the dusty road next to the pasture. He was hungry as usual. Unemployment was high on the Potawatomi Reservation and he could not find a job. A friend of his who had been to New York City told him there were lots of jobs there. They even paid people to open doors and run elevators. He figured that with his skills, he could easily get a job. Coyote was also a little lonely and hoped maybe he could find someone special in the big city. He cooked up a big batch of fry bread and stuffed it into a brown paper bag. He loaded his cast iron skillet his bag of fry bread and his pencils and blanket into his VW van. Then he took off down the bumpy lane, past the barn and the horse pasture, crossed Little Soldier Creek and headed toward the place where the sun comes up. Coyote drove and drove, camping along the way, eating fry bread and sleeping in his blanket. The farther from Kansas he traveled, the wider the road became until it was a huge highway stretching to the horizon. The closer he got to New York City, the faster the cars went. Everyone seemed to be speeding along. With his heart pounding, Coyote drove over the George Washington Bridge and entered a different world. Tall buildings blocked the sun. Loud music boomed from every corner. The sidewalks were full of people and they were all in a big hurry. There were many neighborhoods, each one like a different country, with its own food, smells, language, and music. After Coyote found a place to stay and got himself settled, he took back to the streets looking for work. Walking along Broadway, he came to a set of stairs that went down into the ground. As he peered into this deep hole, he could hear a rumbling, and he felt the ground tremble. Something big was down there for sure. It sounded like a whole herd of buffalo. He climbed down the steps. At the bottom, Coyote saw a tall fence with iron bars and beyond that was a long silver train with lots of people pushing their way on and off. Tired and footsore, he wanted to ride that train. He saw some men pushing grocery carts full of flowers through a gate in the fence. Coyote the trickster had an idea. He would change himself into a sunflower. He did, and sure enough, one of the flower sellers picked him up and put him in his basket. Safe among the flowers, Coyote boarded the train. When the train reached the last stop, everyone rushed out the doors. Coyote changed back into himself and followed the crowd. Soon he was staring up at two huge towers that stretched to the sky. The lobby of the tower was packed with people going to work. Surely someone with all his skills could get hired too. Coyote was right. He found a job and it was in his field too. He became the rodent control officer in the World Trade Center. But he was always homesick. On clear nights, Coyote would escape the noise and hurry of the city by going up to the observation deck to watch the stars as they danced across the sky. Once, when the stars came very close, he noticed one star that was more beautiful than all the rest. She was so beautiful that Coyote fell in love with her. 
Every night when the stars came out, Coyote waited until the beautiful star came near the observation deck, and then he howled and howled, begging her to take him up into the sky. He wanted to dance with her. Oh! First she ignored him, but one night, after he pleaded and begged, the star danced over and she pulled him into the sky and they began to dance together. As they danced across the sky, he was so happy he thought his heart would burst. After a while, Coyote began to realize that the star wouldn't talk to him. The stars didn't even talk to each other. They just danced, cold and beautiful, across the night sky. Then he noticed how cold it was, and when he looked down, he got dizzy. Shivering and scared, he just wanted to return to Earth. He begged the star to let him go home. At last she danced with him over to the edge of the sky, and then the star dropped him. Coyote fell down and down for four days and four nights. Coyote kept falling, and when he got closer to the earth, he saw that he was heading straight for Central Park. When his body hit the ground, it made a great big hole, and when that hole filled with water, it became known as the Reservoir. And that's what became of Old Man Coyote. So now, whenever you hear coyotes howling at the night sky, you know they're scolding the star that dropped their grandfather. That's what the people say. Yo, hey, yo, hey, yo.